What's up, folks? How's it going? Um, videos have been few and far between. You don't want my excuses, but one thing that I did do in that time period, amongst other things, was that I uh, I did get my hands on a copy of Assassin's Creed 2. The methods are unimportant, but the point is that people were asking me about it, so I'm going to say one thing, and uh, if you haven't played the game and you don't want it ruined for some reason, because you then skip past this part, but... Um, this game contains one of the most badass moments in the history of mankind, and that is that uh, you get to beat the shit out of the Pope. I, let me say that again if you didn't hear what I said. You get to beat the shit out of the Pope, man. Um, so, get that game. I, it doesn't matter how. Play that. That's awesome. I was super excited about it. Uh, speaking of Popes, Catholics... With the new sex abuse scandals going on here, we I'll go on CNN and, and especially late at night when I go on CNN, sometimes I feel as if I might have fallen into some sort of alternate dimension where everything is fucked. And I, I, I look at a, a story I saw the other day. Um, priests in Connecticut, I believe it was Connecticut, are... Um, the Catholic Church in Connecticut is opposing a new um, law to uh, lengthen the statute of limitations on uh, child abuse, right? And they're opposing this. Let me say this again. They're opposing a law to make it easier to prosecute child molesters. Okay, just remember that. Um, their statement was something along the lines of um, this law is going you know is imp is going to impede on the mission of the Catholic Church in Connecticut what the fuck is the mission of the Catholic Church in the Connecticut where this could possibly intervene um, and, and with this whole new wave of sex scandals I just I simply cannot believe how badly it's being handled. And I, I've, I've come to realize that I made a mistake myself. I overestimated these people. I overestimated the leadership of the Catholic Church. I thought, well, these are low-life people to begin with. They're manipulators and liars, hypocrites and idolaters, and all those lovely things uh, that Jesus didn't like. Um, <clears throat> you know, and... But the one thing they seem to be good at was manipulation. They've, they've been a major power in the world for going on 2,000 years now, and you'd think they would be pretty good at that shit. I was wrong. Um, who the fuck is running the PR for these people? Who the hell is in charge? Who is running the ship in the Catholic leadership? I, I just cannot think of an of a, of a easier problem to solve for them. All right? you come out and you say we're sorry we do not support this shit we're going to excommunicate all priests that have been shown to have done this we're going to you know participate fully in the investigations in the respective countries the catholic church does not condone child molestation blah 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 they could do that they could take care of this problem they could make themselves look even better and it's not like they're going to run out of priests there's always tons of stupid people willing to sign up for that shit but they don't do it that leaves us with only a couple of options either these people are really are stupid like really really stupid um, they've lost their minds and they're they're trapped in the middle ages or they really are all child molesters I just cannot see any other option here how can you not come out as strong as possible about this. What, what would they do if they found out that the Catholic churches were collecting children's organs for fucking meat? You know, how would they react to that? I, I just can't, I can't even believe how poorly this is being done. It's shocking to me. It really is. Um, you know, to, to, this, this is, this in a way can be a positive, not the molestations, obviously. But the fact that this is coming out and the terrible way that the church is handling it, I sincerely hope is, is going to show um, the, 
the Catholic community that at the very least the the Catholic Church is corrupt beyond um, beyond Reformation. It's it's done. Uh, I mean, at this point, if you're still giving money to a Catholic Church, you are literally paying the bills of pedophiles. I mean, you're literally doing that, and you're literally paying to help pedophiles escape justice. You have to live with that. That's a fact. You can't get around that shit. I don't even care. I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous. So if if you if you if this is not enough um, to you know make the taste of the Catholic Church bitter in your mouth, then I I don't know what has to be done. Maybe the organ harvesting is what it would take. Um, you know, I. What else happened? The president of Poland died. Um, first of all, I'd like to say to like any of the Polish people that might be on here, I know that at least a couple have seen my videos. Uh, I'm, my condolences to you. It's incredibly. This is going to be an incredibly complicated time for you. I I can't imagine if some shit like that were to happen here. That pretty much to have the whole top levels of your government uh, killed at the same time is not good for anybody. So I'm sorry about that shit. But what I found funny, and I can't—I don't know—I haven't read up on it. I don't know what the real reason for this crash was. But when I first saw it, when it had just happened, the story on CNN was um, that the Russians were saying that their traffic control dude had told the Polish pilot, "Don't land here. It's windy or the weather is bad. Something. Land somewhere else." And the pilot said, "No. Um, if the Russians tell you." something is dangerous it's pretty fucking dangerous you should not do that okay don't do it just like if the if a japanese person ever says something you do is weird that shit's probably weird if the russians tell you something you're doing is dangerous i would recommend not doing it um, i don't know i don't know i'll talk to you folks later i'll try to make another video tomorrow or the day after something like that i'll talk